Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Reports say that out-of-work actor Charlie Sheen is planning a massive $320 million lawsuit against Two and a Half Men creator Chuck Lorre, Warner Brothers, and CBS TV, claiming mental anguish over the axing of the remainder of this season. Mm-hmm. Could they not counter sue for the same thing? Probably. Meantime, an independent lab contracted by RadarOnline.com has administered blood and urine drug screening on Sheen, and he's tested negative for all legal substances. Wow. I know. Really? Yeah. Oh. He did it on Good Morning America, too. He was clean, and everybody's like, seriously? <laughs> Not a urine sample on Good Morning America. <laughs> well, yeah, they tested it there, but it wasn't done live Good. that way. Had enough of Charlie Sheen? How about some Lindsay Lohan? She tells Extra that she doesn't think a movie company could get completion insurance on her. She says she has to build her way back up, and she says she gets that. But Lohan says she's focusing on one thing she needs, and that's her recovery. She says she's doing good, and that's the most important part for her. Sources connected with Mel Gibson criminal investigation tell TMZ.com that he's about to be charged with domestic violence, but his ex-girlfriend Oksana will not be charged with extortion. Oscar-winning actor Colin Firth says he's baffled by a plan to release a new family-friendly version of the King's Speech alongside the existing R-rated version, insisting the film should not be changed as the swear words included aren't in a vicious way. And it would just change the whole concept of the, the movie. You know what I wish I sounded like Colin Firth? Oh. I was listening to his acceptance you speech online read again the yesterday. Phone book and sound good. I yeah. know. What mm-hmm. a waste. Sports Illustrated 2011 swimsuit issue cover girl Arena Shark has become engaged to Christian Ronaldo, the soccer oh, superstar. Oh, you're kidding me! And a Pick nation, of the litter. And a nation mourns. <laughs> <laughs> Can only hope it doesn't last. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Kirstie Alley will be guaranteed exercise now that she'll be on Dancing with the Stars. She's joined by Kendra Wilkinson, Petra Nemkova, and the original Karate Kid Ralph Macchio, also hitting the dance floor. Uh, former boxing great Sugar Ray Leonard, Pittsburgh Steel's wide receiver Heinz Ward, wrestler Chris Jericho, Loveline co-host Mike Catherwood, one-time rap prodigy Romeo, Chelsea Kane of Disney Channel's Jonas, and talk show host Wendy Williams. We'll see those 11 celebrity contestants in action with Dancing with the Stars March 21st. And Carrie Underwood's first major movie, Soul Surfer, premieres April 8th. I don't know about this one. Okay. She's going to play a church youth leader in a real-life story about a teen surfer who lost her arm in a shark attack. Oh. Carrie Underwood. Okay. And Jane Russell, the tall, voluptuous brunette who was one of the biggest stars of the 40s and 50s, has passed away at the age of 89. If you're celebrating a birthday today, you share the state with Nick Kershaw. He's 53 today. Javier Bardem is 42. And Kesha, the singer, is 24 today, along with Justin Bieber, who's 17. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.